All right, so we are not fabulously wealthy, but we are getting there. We're actually doing quite well, all things considered. Uh, you know what? Let's take the glass back. I'm going to put over the whole stack. Might as well sell, sell the whole thing. I think I had uh, originally sold less uh, because people weren't showing up, but I mean, that's not really that helpful. Okay, but yeah, so we're going to we're going to drop off every bit of junk that we've got lying around in, in our inventory. And then we'll have a liquidation sale after I go adventuring. So question is, it is nighttime, right? I think it's nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime. There we go. Okay. Uh so I have no healing potions. Let's go pick up some healing potions. I don't think I'm going to do the healing potion cheese just because I need to I don't really need to worry about that. Oh yeah, other thing we can check. Okay. So, I can enchant my armor. It gives me 7 more HP, but does not increase my damage at all. Or my, my defense at all. I think I'm going to give that a pass. We want to save our cash for making the, uh, the helmet. So, I'm just going to get, like, 10 healing potions, and we're going to try and make it to the second level. Is there an active day-night cycle? No, it's, um, it's a trigger-based day-night cycle. Uh, so more more or less it's a basic gameplay cycle of you go into the dungeon during the nighttime and you run your shop during the day and that's just the that's just how it works actually uh, a rather smooth experience in my opinion oh there's quick equip somebody had actually mentioned that just like when's he gonna notice there's a quick equip you know it's because I'm just not paying attention half the time but yeah, so we've got the enchanted uh, sword right now. I think the next thing I want to do is get the... Yeah, probably the enchanted... Uh, I probably want to get... Yeah, I'll focus on the enchanted bow and arrow. But I think I should probably go for defense first, because if I can actually have some defense, we could conceivably uh, go down into the lower levels. Okay. So this is roll. Gotcha. I've only ever played this twice, so remembering the exact uh, the exact controls is going to take a little bit of work. Not too long, but still. So what kind of shop is it supposed to be? I mean, like a fantasy shop. Oh, there's a mimic. Oh, mimic does a fair bit of contact damage. That's fine, because I've got a bunch of extra HP and durability. Also, random, random uh, healing pool desk, question mark. Oh, balls. Mess that up. There we go. Nothing fancy in there, but that's okay. Yeah, I really hope they uh, expand the uh, the weapon variety. I might look into some of the, uh, the, the secondary types of, like, heavy swords once we have uh, some more money to justify it, just because... I like, I like the idea of a heavy sword. Honestly, I think a heavy sword would be uh, way more interesting than the basic sword and board that I've got going on. Uh, but at the same time, the, the heavy sword is just worse. Not even objectively worse, just... Or not subjectively worse. It's like straight up, like, why would you ever use the heavy sword? Hopefully they fix uh, that specific section. Okay, so we, ca we can get down. And I probably will go down. Uh, let's quick make sure... That we're not carrying some garbage. Oh. Oh. We got some uh, rarer bits. We got blueprints. I don't know what to do with blueprints, but... They're probably worth more than the... Um, they're probably worth more than any of the other stuff. I'm just going to throw it there just in case I die. Because I do, I do die. Not uncommonly, though... We've got a butt ton of healing potions, so I'm actually I'm actually gonna try and make an honest attempt on the second floor for today. If we're lucky. Mostly just worried about that dumb ghost. Honestly, I actually really hope the developer uh, reduces the level size and gets rid of the ghost entirely. I think the ghost is um, I think he's a uh, a boring mechanic. Oh. Did he make me drop this stuff from my pocket, or did he give me more? I have no idea. Well, let's see. Do I have... Oh, the mimic makes you drop things. Now that's annoying. 
I was like, holy crap, the Mimic pays out. But no, the Mimic does not pay out in the slightest. The Mimic is actually uh, a huge inconvenience. Unless uh, one of the other enemies is the one that's making me drop things. I'm not entirely sure. Should probably be a little bit more cautious about uh, my health here. But yeah, I think it would actually be way more interesting if the uh, the dungeons were specifically... Not specifically designed, necessarily. Because the, the encounters most definitively are uh, specially designed, which is good. Um, but I wish they were actually designed to be short, shorter. No ghost, and you just have to progress downwards uh, to get more and more loot. Which I think would be the, uh, the much more interesting version. I think the ghost would be more interesting if, um, if he showed up on special levels with a lot of loot. Like, how cool would it be is if, like, the, uh, the goat, uh, the goat, uh, if the ghost would show up and chase you through an entire level, but the entire level is filled with way expensive goodies. I also really like the UI in this game. I mean, it's very derivative, but it works so well. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could just run through the pots like a lazy bones. And hopefully, um, I'm hoping we can get some more enchanting materials here, but so far it's not looking uh, positive. There we go. Got the glass, it's worth the most. Now this is the challenge room, but I don't- I'm not gonna mess with the challenge room until we get a patch or something. Is this an old game or a new game? This is so new, no one else has access to it except for me. Does that count? Uh, let's see. So we wanna- I guess we wanna go up. There we go. We got a little bit of time before these guys come after me. There we go. I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive here, just because I think the ghost is based on a timer. And if I can actually clear these floors before he shows up, then awesome. So let's quick move some of the crap. Actually, I'll take that back. There we go. I don't know if the, the ghost will actively show up during those sections, now that I'm thinking about it. Yep. HP is fine, we've still got the healing spring, as long as the ghost doesn't show up, but I guess I can always uh, come and go along the way there. Yeah, part of the reason why I'm farming the first floor as opposed to going on to the second. Oh yeah, it's ghost time. Okay, oh. Interesting, because he was partially spawning here. Uh, or he was in the midst of spawning. He actually... Uh, will continue his spawn cycle if you enter and come back. Yeah, technically there are some other people that have access to it. Anybody that kickstarted this game uh, has access to it, which is not exactly an, ex an exclusive club. But it's exclusive enough. Okay. We're full health. I got plenty of potions. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's make a run on the second floor, see if we can at least uh, do a little bit. Wander made this with bird. I, dude, if I could make a game like this, that'd be awesome. I just do not have time, though. Does the ghost insta kill you? Uh, as far as I know, the ghost does a, at least 100 damage, if not more. So, does he under insta kill you? Not necessarily. But he very well could. I haven't had enough experience. Okay. These roller balls are actually fairly benign. Stupid nugget things are not actually worth any money. Okay, well. This is why I wanna upgrade the uh this is why I wanna upgrade the bow. So I actually do some damage. It's tempting to actually try and go for the catapult bow. Uh but I don't I'll go for that if we uh if we end up with a bunch of extra. Yeah, shame the nuggets don't sell for nearly as much as I'd like it to. 
The moderator set up a death counter for this game. I don't really know if we need much of a death counter for this game. I'm not going to be dying nearly as much as if we were playing like, uh... Uh, The End is Nigh or something. Now that would be a game that would require a death counter. So I'm probably just going to get rid of a bunch of the, uh, teeth stones. Okay, anything else? I guess I can get rid of the iron bars. We're not hurting for iron bars here. Oh, it's doing that weird bug again. Okay, uh... Quick move all, except we're starting to run into items with rules. I like the items with rules, but, uh... They're a bit inconvenient. Okay, cool. I can still kill the, uh, the little red slimes. Freely. More healing potions. Ow. Yeah, so they do 20 damage now. Honestly, that's not so bad. Yeah, as long as I can two-shot them, then I don't have to worry about it that much. I really wish you could attack on the diagonal here, but I guess that would, uh, that really would nullify the challenge of a lot of this game. Oop, gotta get away from Rollerball. Ow. That's a bad place to be. And this is why we brought potions. Okay. Balls. Okay, whatever. As long as he proffers his back. I hope they change the uh, spawn pattern in this room a little bit. Just because. Oh, come on. Don't run it at the diagonal. Come hit me. Ow. Okay, fine. I'll take that. That was a lot of healing potion. But that's why I brought so many. As long as I don't die. That's fine. Okay, uh, what have I been... I've been picking up... Oh, twigs. Yeah, we don't need the twigs. And we really don't need teeth stone here. I'm honestly gonna get rid of that. What's this? Transform itself into another item, and that's mystery items. Almost rather the, uh, the mystery items. There we go. Not that any of these items are particularly good. Okay. And yeah, welcome to Zelda 1 attack mechanics. I actually rather like the, the Zelda attack mechanics. Like, old school Zelda had a really good thing going for it. And I think I was always a little bit uh, confused. Um... I think I was always a little bit confused why nobody else had uh, tried mimicking the old school Zelda combat mechanics. Like, it's such a no-brainer. It, I mean, it's one of the first instances of action combat as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I guess apart from platformers, which were pretty pervasive as far as action combat goes. Okay, so we can't quick move anything. I don't even know if we need golem cores. I'm just trying to get rid of everything that we don't conventionally need and isn't rare. There we go. So you can make items in the shop. Shop, really? Zelda combat is one attack, though. I mean, if you introduce blocking and stuff like that, it's a little bit more than just one. Gonna... See if I can bait this guy out. Come on. I guess, actually, I don't have to bait him into attacking. That stupid collision damage, though, it needs to be fixed. Real bad. 
I guess I could have actually just gone to the other side of the pool now that I'm thinking about it. All right, and we're out of time. I'm gonna put a bit of space between me and him, and then we're just gonna leave. I don't know if using the uh, town portal actually, uh, I don't know if using the town portal gets rid of the ghost, uh, but I hope so. But that'll be something for another day when I'm uh, not trying to penny pinch as hard as possible. Okay, uh, so for starters, I do have 4,000. Yeah, this is why I wanted a penny pinch. You know those teeth stone I kept passing up on? I needed them. Then again, uh, I need more masonry too, so this will take a little while. Place never gets reset. No, it does not. Okay, so how do you make stuff in the in the item shop? Seeing as there's sleep, but we don't care about that. Let's see. Is it possible to get rid of the ghost by going deeper into the dungeon? Yes. Uh, so the ghost will... Uh, oh, there's like a mirror here. That's cool. Uh, the ghost will uh, check out and leave you alone. Uh, if you uh if you go down to a deeper level table you think no i can't interact with the table currently there's no way that i can currently uh craft weapons okay so yeah i'm gonna have to start collecting some more teeth stone well that's okay uh we've also got wa Ooh, water lamps i don't know what those do uh just gonna get rid of some of these like vines so note, remember, we need more foundry rests. We really don't need like sticks. Do we have any, we don't have any glass. I'm gonna try and uh, save a stack of, one stack of every, every resource. Let's see, I've already got tons of golem cores. Actually, why did I just sell that? Oh, I know why I'm selling this. Uh, one, by default, uh, wasn't really paying attention. Two, I'm actually really just selling the, the garbage things that I don't need. And that nobody's gonna buy, because nobody's gonna buy sticks from me. Oh, I sold all of my grass, whatever. We got all the iron. Send that over. Oh, okay. Crystal rock stacks up to ten. Good to know. Um, let's see. We've got plenty of potions. Honestly, I should probably just uh, open shop with what I got and just sell what's in my inventory. I guess I could probably sell these uh, a couple of these broken swords. Let's do a stack of the broken swords. Let's save these. Save the electronics, the blueprints. I can probably sell the iron bars and hardened steel. But I want to save some of the other things. Eh, let's sell only part of that. Okay, there we go. One way or another, we're going to make a decent amount of cash from this. I should not have sold that whole stack of 10 golem cores. I was thinking if I could sell, uh, quick sell a couple of things, we'd actually have an easier time of it. Oh, hey, we can actually see what's popular and what's not. So, hardened steel, low popularity. So things that I've been selling a lot of so far are not actually going to sell that much. Okay, so let's cycle some of these out. We could also reduce the price. But I think I might just hoard them. But anything that I don't sell often. Actually, uh, let's take the swords back. I don't know how much. Uh, I don't know how much the swords sell for. So originally, I thought the uh, popularity system wasn't even in the game, but it looks like it is. So that's cool. Let's do two hundred on the white stone. I don't know about the golem core. I'll just put the iron up. Okay, hopefully people will be more interested in buying this. Because, yeah, we, uh, if you notice, 
Yeah, low popularity, low popularity, neutral. Low. Teeth stone. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, since we haven't been finding enough, nobody's that interested in buying half the stuff that I got. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I messed up. I was not paying attention, and they wanted to buy it because I... I'm... Ugh. Okay, well... Learning. Okay. See, the broken sword is worth a heck of a lot more. Oh. Thanks, Cube Hoarder, for the subscription. Okay, so the uh, the stone is worth a fair bit. The swords are worth a lot more than two, uh, 100. Let's go up to 2. Let's see what this sells for. Yeah, we just want to pick up a little bit of extra cash here. Okay, so 200 is too much. Broken sword. So, I guess let's shoot for 150 on the broken swords. Whoops. Unfortunately, I simply do not have a whole lot to sell here. Yeah, looks like 150 is perfect. Why is the broken sword worth anything at all? Not a clue. Well, I'll just put up the, the last of it. N the rest of my things have kind of low popularity. I guess what I could do is, uh, let's drop the price on them. Maybe if I uh, cut the price, people will be more willing to buy. Let's see, if I upgraded my armor yet? I have a helmet. Unfortunately, uh... Money is a little bit scarce right now. Okay. So, because of the reduced price, people are more likely to buy uh, old things that I'm not uh, using that often. But yeah, I, I know the more I sell, the lower the demand. Eventually, once I can go deeper, it won't be a problem. But right now, it's a... Uh, it is actually an issue. Okay, whatever. We'll... We'll make do with the demand. Okay. Uh, did we did we get an update on whether or not um an update on whether or not you can actually craft stuff? Because if I can actually craft some like weapons and armor, then I'm hella down. But can't. So I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, so we, we do want to start making it to deeper levels, probably. My chest is also getting kind of full. Okay, so I've got... Slightly... Actually, I got more potions than when I went yesterday. You do it in town. Yeah, okay, so... Then I've already been doing that, and your advice is is actually ill-timed. But yes, I, I know I can craft things. I've known that for ages. It's just the problem is, uh, so I can craft a sword, but it cost me a thousand to craft a sword. And then I can sell the sword for a thousand. That's the uh, frustration on my end, is there's no profit margin on crafting things. Okay, so. Ah, you can kind of do a roll stat. So, effectively, uh, we want to get some more teeth stone. And then we probably just want to go down a level. We need teeth stone. Uh, we need things from treasure chests. And red enemies, because we want as many upgrade components as we can possibly uh, jam in. So any room with a treasure chest is, uh, is worth my efforts. Maybe golem, golem stones, a couple other things. But the stuff from, tre uh, treasure chest, hundo, hundo worth. Oh, jeez. 
never really appreciate how much I get, like, uh, cramped in by those guys. The other thing we could consider doing is going through the forest portal. I have no idea where that leads me. But that could be, that could be cool. Oh, I know what I can do. Uh, so you guys know how I have two different chests. I'm gonna fill the, uh, second chest with one max stack of everything. That way I always have enough crafting components for, for what I need, or at least reduced amounts. But yeah, I, I would actually almost prefer it that instead of finding raw resources, uh, I was specifically crafting, uh, crafting equipment. To sell. It would be so much more compelling from my perspective if I had to be like, uh, maybe even commissioning the blacksmith. Like, I bring the blacksmith raw materials, blacksmith then in turn uh, makes me a sword, which I then sell for more money, as opposed to the raw materials being worth the most. Um, and it would be interesting if there was like actually story stuff that. Uh, this is kind of annoying. Uh, you know, it'd be compelling if there was story stuff, uh, specifically that, like, uh, imply, hey, by the way, you should, uh, you should get out here and do this thing. You gotta remember to break, uh, more pots. Pots have healing potions in them. But yeah, no special enemies, therefore, not worth... Oh. That's interesting, I kind of, like, rolled diagonally there. Now we can, we can go down immediately, if I want to do so. Uh, let's make sure, oh, the, wow, we've picked up a whole bunch of broken swords. Okay, that's good. See ya. Oh, actually, uh, we needed teeth stone, don't we? Get back here, I need those teeth stone. Though, I think I get teeth stone from elsewhere. I also burnt through my entire supply of vines because I wasn't paying attention. Not that it matters. So if you think about it, you paying the guy to make the weapon cost money. Uh, you break even with expenses is at best compared to like selling the raw resources. I mean, sort of. Realistically, like, Blacksmiths generally never went out to go mining, uh, to go mine their stuff. I guess maybe you'd be supplying the blacksmith with resources? I don't know. I... I can see the logic for just selling the raw materials. Uh... And maybe it would make sense if the blacksmith specifically wanted things. Why was this one... closed? I have no idea. Well... It doesn't really matter too much. I'd actually really like to play a Monster Hunter game uh, that's kind of like this. I guess that's what Monster Hunter is, sort of. You go out on a resource run, and generally you sell the raw materials, not the weapons. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just trying to... Oh, God damn it. It's too easy to get... Trapped on those. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of slimes. Okay. We've still got the healing spring and it's near the exit, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, goody chests. Exactly what I need. I remember originally I was much more, like, concerned about, uh... Safeguarding my HP. Now I'm just like, blitz it! I can survive most things. I mean, honestly, once we've got a uh, full set of armor, which... I'll be able to get at least one more part after this run. Hopefully the chest piece? No! That was an upgrade crystal, you son of a... Eek. The sound effect as you walk over the slime is, uh, kind of gross. Oh, that's interesting. Enemies, uh, reset position. We 
when you go through them. Or when you go through the levels. I guess it makes sense. Makes it easier to, uh, keep track of. Ah, butts. Ah! So he... He does... Break treasure chests. There's the crystal. Okay, we GTFO as long as we don't get stuck in the... Stuck in the floor. Yeah, so the uh, annoying part about the green ghost, for me at least, is the fact that the sucker... Uh, really likes to destroy treasure chests for the room you're in. So if you find a treasure chest and you're like, yes! Okay, last treasure chest and then we go up a floor, he just smashes it. And it's like, oh... You jerk. I probably should uh, wait on this. Okay. So we cannot get more HP out of that. Well, that's fine. Okay, so before we go too far, uh, let's start clearing inventory spaces a little bit. So I'm going to sell the crystallized energy and the golem cores. Nobody's buying them, so I might as well just liquidate them for resources in favor of inventory space. Uh, right. And we want, <laughs> as silly as it sounds, we actually want uh, teeth stone. Usually, I have no interest in teeth stone. But today, I do. Fortunately, these guys kind of hit hard. That was just an awkward room layout to begin with. Okay. Well, at the very least, we'll be able to get enough teeth stone. I might have to buy some masonry to get the next piece of gear, but I'll, I'll accept that. It's either that or we just keep trying to save up for the, uh, the bow and arrow. Oh, good. Healing pool already. So is this a roguelike? Sort of. I mean, I would argue that this is kind of the definition of roguelite. I'm actually not sure how I'm supposed to kill that guy. Let's just leave him there. Yeah, I'd like to upgrade my bow. I almost want to say upgrading my bow might be smarter than upgrading my armor. Because then that would actually give me, like, a, a reasonable uh, means of, like, killing some of these guys far more easily. It'd actually be kind of neat if you could uh, roll over the slimes gungeon style, like the little ones. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, that bow upgrade would be real tempting. I wonder if I'd want to get a, uh... What kind of bow I'd want. almost kind of wish there was a, uh... Whoops. almost kind of wish there was a, uh, quick sell button. But that could get, uh, real risky. Whoops. Okay, I'm just going to leave this guy alone. He's not bothering me yet. Oh. Little red slimes are in, are hiding. Didn't even notice them. We can go down another level. Now that seems like a terrible idea. I'm probably going to do it anyway. Just because. I'm, we're, o we're okay. Uh-oh. Ow. Balls. Yeah, I was going to try and roll, but unfortunately, the, the problem is you don't like, uh, in other games, when, you, when you're when you going along like an invisible wall, and, or not an invisible wall, but like a, a barrier or a cliff or whatever, you either straight up fall off, or you, um, you either straight up fall off, or you, uh, you just slide smoothly along it. In this one, you get stuck. I was... I was going to try and, uh... You know, just march past it slowly. 